good to see you. I'm happy to be with you again. I hope you've had a fantastic week. I have. It's been strange though. I've had this craving for fish. And then every time I see like a little bug or a leaf scurrying across the yard, I keep wanting to like go and chase it. Or if I see things floating through the air, it's the weirdest thing. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm acting like a cat because I dressed up like one. And you might be wondering, why is Miss Becky dressed up like a kitty cat? Well, I'll tell you why. You know, it's the month of October, and this is the month where people love to do so many fun things like carve pumpkins, go trick-or-treating, have parties, wear costumes, dress up. It's a really fun month, and I know that because of the pandemic, so many of the fun things we like to do have been canceled or changed. So we decided that we were going to do something fun for the kids at Renewal. And so on Friday, October 30th, from 6 to 8 p.m., we are going to have a drive through costume parade. And I would love for you to come. You can make a costume. You can buy a costume. You can wear no costume. You could dress up your car if you wanted to. That would be a lot of fun. Or not. Just come. Just come if you want to. Just come through by the church and we're gonna have a drive through station where you can come by and get a goodie bag with candy and fun stuff in it. We would love for you to come. And if you just wanna stay in your car, if your family is not comfortable getting out, you can just absolutely make it a drive through And for those of you who might wanna get out and spend some time distance from one another to wave and say hello outside, we'll have a place for you to do that too. Lots of fun lots of goodies, and I really, really hope that you'll join us. If you have any questions, you can have your mom and dad email me or Miss Heather, and we would be happy to give you more information about that. Well, speaking of October and all of the fun things, do you remember last week we talked about how our scripture for this month, Matthew 5, 16, it's like how we carve out a pumpkin and we put a light down inside and the light shines for everybody when the when the darkness comes, when the nighttime comes. Well, that is our scripture, Matthew 5, 16. Will you practice it with me? Matthew 5, 16. We never came up with a good one for 16 yet. And it goes like this. Let your light shine before others so that they may see your good works and give glory to your Father who is in heaven. Matthew 5, 16. All right, good job, you guys. Well, I'm thinking about getting together with everybody. I'm thinking about seeing friends. And then I'm thinking about sometimes we've all known somebody who doesn't have any friends. Maybe you've been the person who's never had any friends. Our story today is about a guy who nobody liked. I mean, nobody. People turned their back when they saw him coming. They talked about him behind his back. Maybe you've known somebody like that in your school or your neighborhood. Or like I said, maybe you've been that guy. But do you know what's so amazing about God? Is that God made every single one of us. And God knows every single one of us. And God loves every single one one of us, including the guy or the girl with zero friends. So I wanna read this story to you today. And remember, this isn't just a story, this really happened. This really happened, it's history, which is pretty cool. Okay, this is the story of Zacchaeus and it's called The Man Who Didn't Have Any Friends. I'll show you the pictures in a minute. There was once a man who didn't have any friends, none. Do you have any friends? Well, of course you do, but not Zacchaeus. Poor Zacchaeus didn't have any. You're probably wondering why. Was it because he was so short? That's not a reason not to like somebody. Whew. Was it because he had a name that was hard to say? Well, that's not a reason not to like anybody either. Even though he was short and he did have a funny name, that wasn't it. No, people didn't like Zacchaeus because he stole their money. Zacchaeus collected taxes, and taxes are what people had to pay the king. But Zacchaeus took more money than he was supposed to, and he kept extra money for himself and made himself very rich. Everyone knew what he was up to, and it made them cross and grumpy. They didn't like Zacchaeus one bit. So they made sure he knew it by doing things like avoiding him and walking on the opposite side of the street and pretending not to see him and whispering things like, there's that nobody who thinks he's somebody loud enough so that he could hear. There's Zacchaeus right here. 
Anyway, one day a huge crowd gathered by the road. Jesus was coming to their town and everybody wanted to see him. Zacchaeus wanted to see Jesus too, but everyone was too tall. He tried jumping up and down, but that didn't work. He couldn't see a thing. Luckily, Zacchaeus had a good idea. I'll climb that sycamore tree, he said, and so he did. He was surprisingly good at climbing trees for a man who was so unusually short that he had to take a flying leap just to get into his chair in the morning. Look, there he is trying to see. Have you ever felt like that? All these tall people in front of you and there's little Zacchaeus. From the tree, Zacchaeus had a perfect view all the way down the road. Another minute and suddenly Jesus was at the tree. He stopped and looked up. Zacchaeus saw Jesus and Jesus saw Zacchaeus. Zacchaeus, Jesus said, I would like to come over to your house. Zacchaeus almost fell out of the tree. Come over to his house? No one ever wanted to come anywhere near his house, house let alone inside of it. The people saw this and needless to say, it made them even crosser and even grumpier than usual. They mumbled and murmured and muttered, why is Jesus being so kind to that big sinner? Hmm. Doesn't Jesus know about him? Zacchaeus scrambled down and took Jesus to his house. He was in a big hurry because he didn't want Jesus to change his mind. Perhaps Jesus hadn't heard about him. Perhaps Jesus didn't know about how he'd been stealing and how no one liked him and how he didn't have any friends. But Jesus knew. He knew all about Zacchaeus and the stealing and everything. And he still loved him. Zacchaeus was ashamed. Lord, he said, turning pale, what I've done is wrong. But now I want to do the right thing. I will give the money back to everyone four times what I stole. And that is just what he did. Jesus smiled. My friend, he said, today God has rescued you. Jesus loved Zacchaeus when nobody else did. He was Zacchaeus' friend, even when no one else was. Because Jesus was showing people what God's love was like. His wonderful, never stopping, never giving up, unbreakable, always and forever love. I'm so happy that Jesus loves us, even when we're sinful, even when nobody else likes us, even when we don't like ourselves sometimes. God sees us and he loves us. Well, I came up with this fun little picture. You ready for it? Can you tell what it is? It's my hand. I used my hand to make a tree. I just traced it. And then I put my thumb sticking out on my picture so I could put my little Zacchaeus guy up in the tree. He's waving, see, saying hi. So all you have to do is get some markers and trace your hand and you can color the trunk brown and the leaves green and put your little Zacchaeus man up there. And if you don't feel like doing that one, in the newsletter, if you go back out, I'm including a link, you can click on it and there's a cool activity page you can download. I hope you have a fantastic week. I really hope you'll put on your calendar to come and join us for the drive through costume parade on October 30th from 6 to 8. I love y'all. And I will see you next time. Meow.